Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. Let me get this mic out of the way. We're back with Mike from Robart and Zap. What's happening, Mike? Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're doing well. We're coming near the end of our whole Zap presentation here. I think we've only got, let me look at the grab the list here real quick. Well, what do we got? We did plastic model cement. Um, we got this one and we've got one more. And then we'll have gone through the whole list of all of the Zap adhesives that we offer and uh, uh, look forward to doing a recap and, you know, maybe do another question answer or something. We're, we'll, but we'll definitely do a recap as to say, hey, this is this is it. These are the these are the main ones or kind of a, a quick one, two, three on them. How to's. And after that, I have more ideas for Mike. That, uh, that we can talk about. Now, today we're going to talk about something super tricky. If anyone out there has attempted to glue plastic to plastic or Delrin to Delrin, Delrin is the kind of plastic that you might use in a servo that you definitely didn't want to strip out. It's a heavy duty plastic. And Mike, I'm going to theorize here. The reason it's hard to get a glue to work with a plastic with wood, we have, uh, there's, uh, it's porous. Right. Glue can right. wick into the, the, the structure and create a bond and on many levels, but with plastic, especially Delrin, it's super smooth and dense. And there's the only bite is between the two surfaces. Right. And there's no moisture. The only moisture that's in there is in the air. So you're, you're not getting any of that, like why it sticks to your fingers because of the moisture. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're not, there's no additional moisture. Uh, you're talking about gaps because, uh, now we've got larger gaps. You know, you may not have an exact cut. You may have a, a warp. You, you got all these different things going on. And then at the end of the day, it's another chemical, right? It's it, plastics are not a natural um, element or anything. They're a chemical uh, base right, right. that's brought together. You know, so now we've got additional chemicals coming in. Is there a release agent? So. Have these been molded and now you've got a release agent on it? Now we've got an oily surface. We've got so many things that happen with plastics. I think the main one is exactly what you hit in the beginning is they're non-porous. It's like trying to adhere metal, right? Metal is very difficult right. to adhere. That's why a lot of people just put a nut and a bolt through it, <laughs> you know? But we've got something here that's that is very helpful into the modeling world, and I'm going to flip my screen over. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay, let me ask you this: You were talking about a, a flashing agent or something that's on top of the plastic. Is it suggested to like r put rubbing alcohol on your surface it first? Never hurts to get them clean. Okay, uh, get all that stuff clean. Make sure all that alcohol is. Uh, evaporated off. Yes. Okay. So, uh, but here we go. So this is it. This is PolyZap. And this is for the new, uh, we're going to call it new age plastics. Lexan, Delrin, nylon, polycarbonate. And we have rubber in here. But as we talked about before, I think your best thing for rubber is actually our Zap RT as well as the PolyZap. Or not PolyZap, Zap Goo. Okay. Yes. So what we got here is our, our polyzap. Now, this is a CA, so it's a cyanoacrylate. It can be uh, accelerated, which we are going to do today. I've got, I'm not going to pour it because I got the top off, but with your zip kicker. Okay. So I uh, went back into the shop. I got some pieces of Delrin here. Now, what I am finding, the more I use the, po the plastic CAs, is we really have to follow the adage less is more. If you put too much on here, you're going to be holding it forever. You really got to put just a drop. Okay. I'm not going to put a ton on here. And, um, and then I want to make sure I get, try to get a good grip here, get a good hold on it. Um, but then what you want to do is you're, you're, you're wanting to fixture it. You want to give it time to do what it does or uh, I'm going to go ahead for our viewing audience's pleasure. I will go ahead and just accelerate it. I just use a little acid brush, so I'm not spraying it all over. 
Okay. And, and I would I would think and what you're we doing, have a bond. You would uh what you're doing with your kicker is you're kicking the outermost edges of the glue to lock it into place so the innermost yep. glue can dry as well. Tip um typically uh and there's gonna be a chain bond, there's gonna be a chain reaction, it's gonna bond it all the way through. Okay. So um so there you have we got they got Delrin bonded to Delrin using polyzap and a little bit of kicker. Now that is you know, one of the the bullet point. Oh, geez, I'm pouring it out now. Just I didn't want to put glue, kicker everywhere, and I just went ahead and did it. I'll put the cap on this. Another how-to. Yeah, um, solves most tough to bond combinations of materials. So again, you know, your Delrin is a is a complicated or or tough to bond material. And so that's where the kicker will come in handy. So if you're if you got plat new age plastics that you are struggling with, then this is a great product for you. Is check out the PolyZap PT-22 from Zap. All right. Well, I think that covers it. Yes. I think so. Uh is in not just in the hobby. So think of your polyzap when you're doing. You know, we, when we talk about in the hobby, we're talking about your plastics. So you said servos. We're you're looking into the canopy. You're looking into some of these other parts that might be coming in. Not in the canopy. I'm sorry, in the cockpit. You now all your little dials and switches to make it nice. You know, anything of that nature, or even in your vehicles that you're working on, so on and so forth. Delrin is is used in a lot of places. Right. So you can check them out on the Zap site and the link will be below as well as in the article that we do about this particular glue. And um, that's it. A really quick Zap glue how-to with you Mike from Robart featuring PolyZap, right? Yep, you got all it. Right. I got it all. All right, everybody. I'm Jim T. Graham with RC Groups. You're Mike from Robart. And Zap. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Bye.